From North Pole to South Pole and everywhere in between, when zipping up a Canada Goose jacket, one thing will always be certain. You will not be cold. <laughs> Today, Canada Goose parkas are not only spots of color in the great white north, but standard winter gear on big city streets. It's a very functional piece that just happens to look really good. The chateau is the parka for anyone wanting to look good while braving the winter winds. We make the warmest jackets on it. There's a logical connection between outerwear designed for warmth and frigid Canadian winters. The first to catch on were Europeans. 50 years later, Canada Goose parkas are known the world over for keeping you warm in extreme cold. At their headquarters in Toronto, Ontario, all Canada Goose jackets start the same way, with a pattern. A pattern is really the art when it comes to making a garment, making sure that it fits right, making sure that the intended design is coming through. The patterns also need to be adjusted for size. Taking a large and turning it into a small requires several changes to the pattern. A lot of people think it just shrink and make it bigger. It really is multiple patterns within a pattern. A Canada Goose Chateau jacket is actually two jackets made separately and then put together an outer shell and a lining. Yeah, and I think the easiest way when you think about the production of a jacket is that we're actually building an inside jacket and we make a second jacket or the exterior jacket. With the pattern prepped, fabric is fed into a giant machine called a Gerber, which will cut out the pattern pieces. The first step for the cutting room is the markers coming to me and the order and the, the colors and the quantity. The marker is a piece of paper with the patterns drawn on it. After it's spread, I put the marker on top Depending on the order, there could be as many as 67 layers of fabric. Now a roaming, computer-controlled blade takes over. I love watching the machine. When you uh, upload the electronic file to the Gerber machine, it's laser-guided and it can cut multiple layers. With the cutting finished, the excess fabric is cleared away. There isn't much left behind. We cannot make a jacket out of this. It would have a lot of air conditioning holes for sure. The freshly cut pieces of fabric are then passed along to the bundling area. So once they're cut and they come off the table, they go into bundling. And from the bundling standpoint, we divide it both in the interior bundles and exterior bundles. The interior lining and the exterior shell begin two very different paths. The lining moves to the baffling station, where it's sealed shut, except for a small opening. And this little bit of opening is used later when we fill the down. Down is an excellent insulator and integral to the Canada Goose story. That story starts back when founder Sam Tick made a jump from working in clothing factories to owning one. He was an immigrant to Canada and uh, he was a cutter in other factories for a number of years and then uh, he opened his own company. Specializing in outerwear and industrial wear, the company took a leap forward when David Reese, Sam's son-in-law, joined the team. He um, got us into down. He also invented a down machine which really revolutionized the filling of down garments. David's down machine made filling jackets much faster and more efficient than filling them by hand. This breakthrough helped Canada Goose fight the cold. We gained this reputation as the uniform of the coldest places on Earth. That's no false claim. Canada Goose tests their parkas in the frozen north of Siberia and the Canadian Arctic. Our jackets have been field tested in the coldest places on Earth for, for decades. It all comes down to the down. It's nature's weapon against the cold. The down is really a cool kind of process. You can dictate the type of down, how much down you're going to put in, and actually how much down per panel. Man-made insulators can't hold a candle to natural down, something Canada Goose uses to help edge out the competition. The Chateau uses a special blend of duck down. We use down because it's the world's best insulator. It has a fantastic lifespan to it, and for weight to warmth ratio, nothing in the world beats it. Keeping up with the worldwide demand for these jackets means Canada Goose goes through a lot of down. Approximately 300 pounds a day are just about 16 of these giant bags. Look at that, 19 pounds. The down is poured into a loading bay where it is then fed into mixing tanks. Everything comes straight over into this big unit. The tank? There is a mixer in the tank that fluffs the down and keeps it from sticking together. The machine is calibrated so that each piece gets the perfect amount of down. Because the computer set up, it tells you how much, how much grams you need. Before the down-filled pieces move on to assembly, they need to make a quick stop at the quilting station. Quilting is meant to make sure that the down doesn't all settle to the bottom. While the interior of the chateau is getting down stuffed, the outer shell is adorned with military buttons, pockets, and the iconic Canada Goose badge. If you look at it and think of a, like a globe looking from straight down, anything that's white is actually water. Anything that's blue is actually islands. Now that the lining and the outer shell are complete, they're attached together. 
and it might look a little funny, but we actually build the jacket inside out. They are pulled right side out in a process called the turn. Then the jacket goes through top stitching, which adds extra strength and some visual panache. After all, the design is meant to make you look good while braving the cold. I think it looks good on everybody that puts it on. The Chateau is now ready to ship out to the coldest corners of the globe. We ship all over the world, from Korea to France, from the UK back to Japan, and internationally known as the warmest jacket. From humble beginnings to worldwide acclaim, Canada Goose has succeeded thanks to a simple goal. Our goal is to free people from the cold. 